welcome to Michelle Sews again. I'm Michelle. Today, I am gonna share with you my experience in sewing the Seamwork Thin Knit Top, which is what I'm wearing right now. So, um, I bought this pattern, I don't even remember when, um, but in the month of July, there was a challenge for um, from Crafty So-and-So to uh, sew a pair of pajamas. <laughs> I did not complete the challenge in time, but I did make my top. And this is, I so I made this with intentions of wearing it as a pajama top, which is what I've been doing. Um, and I really like the pattern. So um, I'm gonna talk you through um, the description, the sizing, the sewing, and then what I liked about it, what I don't like about it. Um, and then hopefully that is helpful to you in case you were considering this pattern. All right, so the description is pretty straightforward. It is a raglan sleeve knit top. The description does say that it's semi-fitted. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that and maybe it's because of the size. Um, so this does come in two different sizes. Uh, Seamwork does do Missy sizing and curvy sizing. Their Missy sizing is um, zero to 16 drafted for a C cup and a five foot eight person. The curvy sizing is 18 to 26, drafted for a double D cup and five foot nine inches. I'm five foot one, but I am in the curvy size range. Um, so um, let me get back to the description. So um, it is a raglan sleeve um, knit top like I said, pretty straightforward. Um, it does give you a lot of opportunities for color blocking. You can see here that I mixed um, two fabrics and used the sleeve fabric for the um, neckband. Um, or you could do it all in one. You could do a ringer tee, which is essentially what this is. Normally the body of it would be a solid if it was a ringer tee, but um, yeah, so you get the, the gist of it. Um, it's really great, depending on your size, to use um, remnants from your stash. Anytime you do color blocking, um, it's a great opportunity to use remnants from your stash. Um, yeah, mine turned out boxy, and I didn't make any adjustments to the size that I made. Um, it doesn't come close to feeling like it's semi-fitted, which I like. So I'll get a little bit... <coughs> I'll get a little bit more into that in a second. Um, so I made a size 24 based on my bust measurement, which is for the size 24, it says it's for a 52 inch bust. My bust is 51 and a half, so that worked out. There is a lot of ease in, there's more ease in the curvy sizing than there is in the Missy sizing. So, um, so just in the waist alone, for example, in the curvy sizing, the the ease is 10 and 3 eighths inch. In the Missy sizing, the um, ease is 8 and 7 eighths inches. So there's, uh, what is that, an inch and a half-ish difference in ease at the waist. Um, so maybe that's why it doesn't feel semi-fitted to me, but like I said, I'm okay with that. So if you prefer your garments to be more fitted, then my recommendation to you is to look at the ease because they do lay it out. They tell you what the ease of the bust, the waist, and the hip are. And then you add that to the um, the measurements in the size chart and whatever size the, those two together ends up being for your preferred amount of ease, that's the size you should make, if that makes sense. Um, all right, so as far as fabrics go, it says to use knits with at least 50% stretch. Um, I use a double brush poly from Joann's. Um, I use two different ones. They're both double brush poly from Joann's. And I use this really pretty springy floral, springy summery floral, and then a hot pink that I feel like it you know, it matches some of those flowers really well. Um, and I thought this was just a cute combination to use for a pajama top. Um, I think that uh, it might be a little, I don't know. I don't know that it, as much as I love this fabric, I don't know that this is a top I would make to wear like out and about. I don't know, maybe. 
but it just feels very pajama-y <laughs> to me. Um, so that's what I used. I did use my serger to put this together for all this, all the seams. The only thing I did, um, on, I did two things on my sewing machine. I did baste the neckband together before I surged it because I have had a problem and it's user error. Um, I, I just need to practice more. Um, when I put on bands, whether it's on the neck or the sleeves, and I only use my serger, I always end up with holes. Like I don't, I miss something somewhere and I end up having to go back and redo it. So um, I thought that maybe if I basted the neckband together before I surged it onto the bodice, that that would help and it did. I didn't end up with any holes in any seams on this garment at all. And then um, after, the only other thing that I did on my sewing machine is I used a twin needle to top stitch around the neck line, which you can't see because it's on the white. And then I did it on the, um, on the sleeve hem and on the bottom hem. And that just, I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a professional look. And um, I believe that's what a cover stitch does. So because my twin needles work so well, I don't feel like I need a cover stitch, which that's shocking to me because I'm always one to feel like I need the net, you know, the, the newest and greatest thing. Um, so I can do without the cover stitch, especially since knits are not my favorite thing to sew. Um, let's see. So there are only four pattern pieces. There's the front, the back, the sleeve, and the neckband. Honestly, this couldn't have been easier to put together. I didn't have any trouble at all. The instructions were super clear. Um, if I didn't say, I didn't say it. Um, there are theoretically, well, technically there's two versions of this. Um, the bodice is the same. It comes in either a short sleeve or a three quarter sleeve. I don't know why, sometimes I, I don't know why they do that because I mean, you could just, they could just put the three quarter sleeve pattern piece in and you could shorten it yourself. That's fine. It worked out fine. Um, and let's see what I like about this. I love the fit of this. So despite the fact that it says it's semi fitted and I don't think that it is at all. Um, I'll put some pictures in here, um, of me wearing it, um, and show you like how much ease I have in the waist, which I can't say often enough that I love. Um, I love the fit of this and I love how easy it was to make. And I, feel like I did a pretty good job of getting the neckband to lay flat. Um, and it was just a super easy sew. It's very easy to wear. Um, it's comfortable. I love how comfortable it is. So I can definitely see me making more of these, um, especially as pajama tops, just to, you know, wear around the house. Um, but I can, you know, I don't tend to wear this type of shirt when I dress to go out of the house. Um, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I definitely see me making more of these. What I didn't like about this, honestly, I can't think of anything. It was easy. The directions were nice and easy. I didn't struggle with any of the steps. This is a really great beginner friendly top. You can you don't have to use a serger, so if you don't have a serger, don't worry about that. Um, you can easily use your sewing machine um, and just follow like tips for sewing with knits on your sewing machine. In fact, in the instructions, they tell you like the tips for using your sewing machine if you don't have a serger. So that's one of the great things about Seamwork and their instructions is how easy they are to follow and the extra tips that they give you. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this and I can't think of anything else to say. I like it. I recommend it. I would love to know if you've made it. Um, and if you have, did you like it or did you not like it? Um, I can see this being kind of a staple-ish kind of a t-shirt in my wardrobe. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you have anything to say, either about my version or a version that you've made. Um, 
your experience with seam work um because i've made a few of their patterns and i personally have had good experience with them but i'd love to know what yours is so um thank you so much for joining me wherever you are i hope the weather is fantastic and i hope you're able to get some sewing in thank you so much for joining me and i will talk to you next time bye Thank you.